uh, Joka here from A Pocket Full of Happiness and today I'm going to share this masculine card with you. So um, I've used the new for that stamp set and I only used two of the uh, smaller stamps, namely the bottle cap stamp. I really love um, building backgrounds with smaller stamps um, and that is what I'm going to do here. And normally I mix all the um, like several different smaller uh, stems from a set, but now I, I am really just going with uh, this one uh, kind of layering stamp here. Um, so I'm starting out by um, stamping all these bottle caps. I have a cut file for this uh, stamp set in the shop you can buy that with the stamp set as a bundle and um, so I die cut a few of uh, these bottle caps and now I'm creating a rainbow kind of color scheme here for this um, I'm using uh, a, a bunch of Altenew and some pink fresh um, inks those are my favorite and I'm trying to show all of the inks that I used here, but I think sometimes I forgot. But in any case, I will um, link everything into the description box below. Um, I'm going again the easier um, way in that I only glued down the very first um die cut and now i'm just layering the you know the next ones on top of that without attaching it or gluing it down or anything like that so basically i'm just single stamping everything just to make sure that i actually have a crisp image i mean i do prefer double stamping i like bolder colors and also um you know, I, I like when the image is really crisp, but I think in this case, because of the design, it kind of works that it's, it's um, not perfect. It's kind of vintage looking or distressed, you know, so um, I'm not really concerned that I cannot double stamp anything here. So I'm choosing two colors for each of these bottle caps, and then they are always like... Um, from one set one ink set um two colors uh, a lighter and a darker shade and so i have some yellows some oranges some pinks some um kind of like magenta raspberries uh, sort of thing then blues um aqua pool colors and then some purple um yeah, I kind of had a different um, vision in my mind's eye, but I think it still works. I I don't know. I think the two tones kind of ruined the, the rainbow idea that I had in my mind, but um, I, I just went with it anyway. And then... Um, once I'm done, I actually wasn't really counting how many I stamped. I just decided, you know, once I'm done with uh, all the stamping, I, I didn't have a design idea for the card. I just uh, thought that, okay, one, once I'm done with the stamping, I'm going to decide what I'm going to do with it. Um, normally, I don't create a grid kind of design with these um, little... Um, die cut pieces but normally i just like to scatter them around on the background for some fun but here i actually went uh, another direction all right so now for my background i'm using the new argyle pattern builder this is actually my new favorite uh, background stamp and it's very easy to to stamp it it's very easy to create this background and it's i don't know it's kind of fun to play around with the colors but today because of all the rainbow color uh, bottle caps I'm just 
um, going with a gray background. I'm using two tones uh, of gray, the two lightest grays from, I think this is the um, warm gray set from Altenew. And I'm, as you can see, um, I have to stamp uh, the, so to, to create a full background, I have to stamp this twice. And then um, to have two colors, obviously, I also have to uh, move the stamp and then uh, just like here. And then I uh, have to stamp it in two different colors. And then the next step is going to be the um, other, the, the stitched um, effect or fake stitched effect um, stamp here and that I will also have to layer up twice and for this one I'm using the third color in that same set I think it's the third it's not the darkest color if I'm not mistaken and then that's it it's actually it comes together very quick um, and I think it's super fun I, I really love this and I, I think in this color it's perfect for masculine cards. Okay, so here, um, what I'm showing you here, this um, sentiment is from the It's Your Party set. I did this in another video. I had that left over, so I'm not showing it here. I created that, but it's just a, a white embossed sentiment on a black card stock. And so here's where I decided that I'm going with a grid design in this case i guess because the the background is busy as well i felt like it needed some more organized look than just uh, scattered i'm not sure i don't actually ever know why i decide um, on a certain design but um, yeah that's what i'm going for and then i'm uh, creating a gap in between um, you know, two um, clusters of six uh, bottle caps. And that's where I will add my sentiment. And then the card is almost ready. And here I was wondering if I should um, turn the uh, caps uh, in, uh, you know, uh, at an angle. So the beer is at an angle. Um, but um, because everything else was so lined up, I kind of felt like the, the um, angle look didn't quite fit this design. So um, once I decided that I want everything straight, um, I'm just attaching all of these uh, with foam tape. I'm sorry, I'm losing my voice. I have no idea why. It happens with every video. Um, it's really annoying. <laughs> um, yeah, and then the finishing touch here is black twine uh actually it might be navy now i i don't remember if i used black or navy i think it's black um that kind of coordinates with the sentiment I'm, I'm almost certain it's black all right that's it i hope i could give you uh some inspiration today uh how to create a very simple masculine card um thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you next time Bye bye